the question can you take your X Pro in the woods in the single track? All right, we got us a log. Oh, yeah, 64, 66. What's up, guys? Back with another dirt bike video. Today, we got performance mods for the Templar X. But before we get into that, I want to address the previous video where we got this thing in and took it for our first ride because we had three issues. I wanted to go over those real quick. So number one was our throttle was sticking when we turned to the right. This thing was revving to the moon. So I ended up moving our throttle cable from in front to behind. And now it revs when you turn left or right, but not nearly as high. So it is definitely a throttle cable issue. We're going to play around with it and get it figured out how it wants to be perfectly ran through here and adjusted properly so that it's not self-revving. Now, number two was our carburetor was spewing gas out uh, the overflow like the float was stuck, which has come unstuck just from riding it and there's no issues. The bike is running really good. Aside from it is very, very cold in nature. This thing does not want to stay idling until you really get it hot. So, that's probably just due to the factory carb, which X-Pro did send me an entirely new factory carburetor. Number three was our brake light not lighting up when we hit the brakes, hand or foot. And for whatever reason, they sent us a new sensor for right here, and that did not fix the issue. It'll light up when you turn the lights on, but not when you apply brake. So I reached back out to them. Now they're sending me a new tail light, which is what they should have done to begin with, but still, they're doing it. It's awesome. The customer service has been really nice. Now, today, we're going to be installing this, the Nibby 30 millimeter, I believe, carburetor. I've linked to it in the description. Pretty inexpensive for how huge of a deal that these people are saying it makes. Uh, it's like 90 bucks, 80 something dollars. We've already taken the bike out and got some performance numbers with our draggy, which was definitely fun. I hooked it up right here. Uh, on this little clamp that I got from Amazon underneath here. It, it's not the best, it's not the best. All right, boys, we're about to test our zero to 60 with the factory carburetor before installing our new Nibby carb. We'll see if we can hit 60 on this road. <laughs> we'll have to see, like I said. All right, let's get started. All right, here we go. Well, about 15 minutes later, we got our factory carb out. I'm praying the new one goes in as easy as this one came out. So your carb is sitting in there just like this. And I unscrewed the clamps on either side, was able to pull the backside off, twist it around enough to where I could get um, some needle nose on our main fuel in right here, pull that hose off. Then our choke cable, which goes right here, I was able to take that off, which was a 716, I think and then unscrewed uh, our throttle or our carburetor top for the throttle. So once I unscrewed that, then I was able to slide this out. We're gonna be reusing our throttle cable. So we'll pull that spring up, slide our needle out, then we'll reinstall this into our new one. In order to get the carb out itself, I did have to take the intake manifold off. So it's two eight mil bolts, took those out slid it out then slid the carb straight out right here like i said i'm hoping that one's not a little bit more chunky and doesn't go back in on this side because it's going to be a pain in the butt if we have to remove the shock or uh, let's don't even think about it it's going to go through here i guess we could take the exhaust off but i really don't want to do that either okay all right time to put take this off and put the new one together these are all new parts that came with the carburetor just swapped onto our factory throttle cable so how you get it out is you see right there that is what's holding your throttle cable in then you see that little black sleeve looks just like this that's what's holding your spring so you pull your spring up pull that little black thing out and then you can slip your cable through here pop that down the bottom get that out swap it over to your new one so uh, this one's ready to go slide it back in our new carb and hope to goodness it slips straight back in here 
So I had to take this guy out in order to get the carburetor to slide in there, but she is in and I got our choke cable, factory choke cable hooked back up. I took the one that was on here off. I don't know if everybody swaps that, but I figured why well, lose the, the ability to hit the choke from up there. I have to do it underneath where it's a whole cluster. Let's just go ahead and try to reuse it. So we'll got it on there. We'll see if it still works. I don't know. Either way, um, now we're just gonna basically shift this guy around in here and get our intake back on and then hook our fuel lines up put our adjustment screw whether it's the factory one or the nibby one depending on how much clearance we have in there and that's 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 hard bro all right we got our factory intake back in there that bottom one is a royal pain in the butt it's just so freaking tight got our factory carburetor whatever you said screw i don't even know what you call that got that swapped over to here because the other one i believe is going to be too far out now it's just a matter of twisting this thing getting it set into place on the intake or the intake side here and the manifold side here and then hook our fuel line up which is on the back side we'll see i'm gonna try to get it set into place well, it's literally been an hour on the dot since we began, so that could have not gone any more smooth. Now, we haven't cranked the bike up yet, so all could be terrible, and it could blow up, and who knows what. But as far as pulling the carb out, putting the new one in, that went pretty freaking smooth. Uh, the little red idle screw, I think it is, I actually swapped back onto here because there was plenty of clearance once I actually got it set into place. It was kind of a booger getting it on the factory intake and manifold. But I got it in there, got our fuel line hooked up. Everything should be good to go. Uh, first startup, it is not been cranked. It's ice cold, cold start. Before, it would crank up and then die if you pulled the choke. Or it would run on the choke, but then as soon as you let off, it would die. So let's see if that has changed any. Let's just find out, does it run? It runs, but it's uh, it's a little RPM-y. I think I need to adjust this down some. All right, well, like two seconds later, I figured it out. So I was on the right track. Our throttle cable was a little too tight, so I ended up loosening it up some. So it backed off the RPM, and then it immediately died once it wasn't getting throttle because I had our adjustment all screwed up. So I ended up uh, turning that back in some to where our RPM is at like it says i mean it, that doesn't sound like it's over a thousand if i back it out anymore it'll die that's too low that sounds about right right there but listen to this thing Woo! so on there she's running it's idling from a cold maybe it is as good as everybody says because literally this bike was a pain in the butt to get idling when it was cold here it is idling beautifully and we have easy adjustment for our rpm Let's see, do we still rev? Oh. Oh! Dude, let's freaking go. There's a trash man. What's up, trash man? Waste management. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just drying my tire off, big doll. <laughs> All right, we kept her pinned there. That definitely felt a little better. We did spin, so I don't know if our 
our time's gonna be better. Here we go. Sixty four, sixty six, sixty seven. Right, the question can you take your ex pro? in the woods, in the single track. Let's find out. She's definitely a little heavy right off rip, but this isn't even a track. This is just the freaking woods and <laughs> we're going through it, pick our path. Now, now we're on the trail. Too shabby. Oh brother. Oh brother. It's getting tight. This is where we rip a turn signal off. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, we got us a log. Oh yeah, no problem. That was a pretty big one. I was a, a little worried about, not gonna lie. Don't put your feet down. The floor is lava. That was a close one. Woo! Oh, vines. Vines. Oh, 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 oh. We about lost it. Still didn't put my foot down. We need some bark busters. That is amazing. Y'all gotta buy this. If you buy this bike, you have to buy the Nibby Carb. It's not, it's not a joke. It's not a prank. It's not a gimmick. You gotta buy it. Unfortunately, after going over our GoPro footage, it seems that we ran out of storage mid top end pull, but it ended up going 69 miles an hour according to our speedometer on the bike. Would not hit 70, perfectly flat road. Uh, I did not do a before top end speed run because I dropped the ball. I'm sorry guys. Compare it to your factory Templar. What does it run compared to this? I don't know if it's any faster or not because, like I said, I have not done it factory. Uh, either way, man, the Nibby Carb is no joke. It's legit. I honestly was a little uh, hesitant from, you know, everyone raving about it. I was like, oh, man, you know, they're probably just hyping it up for a video or something. Not the case. Not the case. It is a game changer on this bike. This thing runs crisp as can be and actually cranks and idles right off rip which it did not like to do on the factory carb and thankfully since we did that adjusted our throttle cable which i need to put this back on there um we don't have any of the self revving problems that we were having before so now dude this bike is freaking dialed all we gotta do is wait for our new tail light to come in and if that fixes our brake light issue then this thing is ready to rip on the highway we'll go get this thing registered and whatnot but Dude, I'm just tickled pink that this this Nibby Carb just performed straight out the box like everyone said it was going to. So, yeah, man, really straightforward install. I guess I should have filmed the entire process. I thought it was going to be a real pain in the butt, and I was going to have to just be all up in here uh, fighting with it and stuff. That's why I didn't film it, but it ended up not being the case. It came straight out here, went straight back in. No issues whatsoever. I just burned the crap out of my finger because, look, you can see my freaking fingerprint. I've been riding this thing around and she's freaking hot and I, yeah, I touched the exhaust. Um, but yeah, that, 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 that was a game changer. I am stoked on that. Way more confidence inspiring now. I'm actually going to take this thing for sure to some off-road parks to, to put through the test, dude. See how she does. 
but uh that's gonna be about it for this video guys hopefully you did enjoy definitely comment down below let me know what your factory templar runs have you done the nibby mod and with that said i'll see y'all in the next video